Today, we will compare all reWAMP TRO in Project Next, and the number one reWAMP choice will be given to a lucky viewer for both the hero and the skin who comments down below. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with you, just the thrill of it. Yo guys, how's everyone doing? This is your guy Assassin Dave. Welcome back to the Forum Famous Family again. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. Today's video is sponsored by YouGov, a survey website that pays you for simply sharing your opinion. We will talk more on YouGov later into the video. Patch note 1.5.88, aka the Project Next, welcomed an ocean of new content and updates, including four new revamped heroes, Alpha, Karina, Minotaur, and Sun. Today, we will gear our focus on comparing these four heroes and find out which one you should play and possibly main next. First, let's talk about the standard of today's comparison to set some ground rules. Number one, is this hero better than before? If so, how much better in terms of what it does best? For example, if we were talking about Minotaur, then I, like hundreds of thousands of players watching, probably be interested in how much easier it is to control his passive rage, how much better Minotaur skill 1 and 2 have become. But if we start to talk about Karina, then the metrics might adjust to how easy it is for Karina to solo kill someone and snowball, how much easier is it for Karina to proc passive and so on. You get the point. Number 2. Is this hero better aesthetically than before? How many skins got revamped on top of the basic hero model? How good are these skins? For example, when Saber first got rewamped, one of the most exciting things for me was the Legend skin rewamp on top of it. I have to admit, I started playing Saber a lot more simply because of that skin. More skins being rewamped, more likely we will have more players playing this rewamped heroes. Alright, with these pointers in mind, let's get into the first rewamped hero on our list today, Alpha. Alpha has gotten true roller coaster treatment since inception. When it first came out to the public, Alpha was literally the number one strongest hero in the entire game. Like most of the other new heroes that first came out, but Alpha in particular got so much love in the entire community. And then after a shopping spree is done, boom, the devs nerfed Alpha into oblivion and the hero literally dropped to one of the least popular hero status. But no more leaving Alpha in the dust says Moonton. And ladies and gentlemen, we now have this revamped brand freaking new Alpha. Are you ready? Okay, who's still pretty average to be honest. Let's first talk about Alpha comparing to before. Relatively speaking, Alpha's signature lifestyle from skill 2 remained the same. Alpha's biggest change is his ultimate. Alpha does a flashy animation that's actually quite confusing because he will jump up in the air and then jump down a decent distance behind the target location. Which caused me to accidentally drop under the enemy tower quite a few times. On top of it, I really don't feel any power change from before. In fact, with more and more heroes with greater mobilities, Alpha full physical damage build is becoming less and less possible. Popular. You need to find a combination of physical damage and defense in order to sustain properly without dying too fast. But overall, Alpha's impact in game did not increase dramatically. He is still just a fun hero that you can take out and have some fun with. Maybe in a few weeks when more and more players have more decent understanding of the new items and just meta in general, we might see more and more great Alpha players. But for now, from many tests and observations, Alpha got an okay power rerun. Now, let's talk about the skins. Alpha got an overall animation rehaul, and every single skin of his actually received decent changes. The epic skin is especially sexy. Just look at the way how Alpha walks. He just looks so calm and collected now, like a true warrior who is about to charge the battlefield and do something. I mean, I like it. I think in the aesthetic area, Alpha reminds me of the Saber rework. I would play Alpha just for the skin. Too bad Alpha doesn't have a Legend skin available, otherwise, I still can't afford it. Combining these two general analysis, Alpha landed number 3 among the 4 revamped heroes. Now, let's talk about Minotaur, one of the most OG hero in the game, but one of the least picked support anywhere. No matter it's competitive, normal games, or even ranked games, if we are talking about revamp urgency, Mino is definitely on the list. However, Mino's rework is nothing short of a disappointment. Let me explain. Power comparison wise, Mino post rewamp does feel a bit more powerful. But that's mainly due to the animation rewamp and slight radius increase on his skill 1 and ultimate after rage. 
the main pain point for Minotaur were still not addressed and that is his slow, painful process to gain rage and how easy it is for rage to disappear. Minnow is the only tank who has to be constantly auto attacking in order to trigger rage or just to use ultimate. If you don't do it that way, you will have to charge up your ultimate twice in order to get a full rage. And that basically says your ultimate effective cooldown is over 50 seconds. And even then, you need to be maintaining combat status in between to keep that accumulated rage from the first ultimate activation. Personally speaking, I like all the Minnow skin VMs and animation upgrades. If you have animation blur turned on or use a decent phone, you will see some sick ultimate animations especially the season skin on Minotaur. Sheesh, looking sexy. One thing worth noting is all Minnow skill have very decent physical damage scaling, and his ultimate deals true damage and skills with physical damage. So, <coughs> I am not hinting anything here, just don't blame me if your teammates call you troll. Overall, Minnow's ramp is just not that great and he will come in at the last place today among all four reamps. But you know what is great? Our wonderful sponsor, YouGov. YouGov is a survey website where you share some of your opinions and get handsomely rewarded with cash or gift cards. YouGov has polls and surveys about a variety of topics, it's completely free to join, and you will also be rewarded bonus points for simply completing your first survey or referring your friends and family to do the survey with you. For example, in the most recent survey I took on YouGov, by merely sharing some simple questions such as I like shower better than bath, boom, I got over a thousand reward points, and now can go to my reward shop and see variety of options I can use my points to exchange. I have my eyes set on this $100 cash right here so I can buy the latest Link Collector skin in game. Big thanks to YouGov for sponsoring today's video and make sure to use the links in the description right now to start making some extra money while watching this video. Coming back to our comparison, let's talk about Karina. First of all, Karina probably received one of the best Wii Ramp among all four. Why do I say probably? Well, Monkey Soon arguably received the best Wii Ramp among the community. Just look at this poll we did in our channel recently. Among 10k vote participants, 54% like Soon and 18% prefer Karina. I was surprised to find out that 3% more viewers preferred Alpha over Karina. Because when I surveyed 5 competitive players, the unanimous consensus is Karina is more fun to play and more viable than Alpha now. But what do they know, noobs? We are gonna throw Karina into the lens of our two standard criteria today and see whether she is worthy of the praise. First, is Karina better than before? Oh, I think everyone who has tried her would definitely say yes. It is a lot, a lot easier to proc Karina's passive. Now thanks to the newly added ultimate part 2, you can literally proc your passive twice immediately if you do it correctly, which allows you to do decent amount of burst damage right off the bat. Karina used to be a dead weight hero until your teammates already did enough poking and HP shredding on your opponents, and you just acted like a vacuum, clean up everything. Now, Karina can actually play more like a fighter and goes in on isolated targets by herself instead of quietly walking away in the early game. On top of it, Karina's skill 1 allows you to dash onto your target for a short distance as well, which just makes fighting with Karina feel so much better and satisfying. Regarding skins, similar to the previous two, all Karina skins have gotten animation changes and upgrades, especially the KOF skin. I am in love with that skin right now. When you use your skill 1 and Karina just started sliding, it's so fun to watch and use for some reason. Make sure to drop a like if you agree with me. The basic skins also got decent amount of changes as well. So overall, Karina landed number 2 on today's list. Last but not the least, the undebatable best reward has to go to Monkey Sun. This character is inspired by the Chinese mythology journey to the West character Sun Wukong, and he is probably one of the most popular characters everywhere around the world that is associated with China. If you are from the Eastern atmosphere, you probably heard about Sun in some shape or form growing up. I was always kind of sad that such a great character setup like Sun was actually among one of the few absolutely useless heroes in Mobile Legends for years until now. The contrast is so huge that we have no choice but listing it as the best WeWamp hero in this phase of Project Next. First, let's talk about Power Spike. Sun definitely received one of the best power-ups in the entire game. 
His signature pushing and objective takedown ability remained the same, but now Monkey can actually get onto people compared to before. Basically, he's useful now. This is all thanks to developers that turn Monkey's skill 1 into 2 skills. And you can actually dash around and confuse your opponent with it. On top of that, about a year ago, I suggested a dev that it made no sense Monkey Skill 1 doesn't create clones always. And sure enough, that problem is addressed in this revamp also. We now have a monkey who can kill towers, shove minion waves in a matter of seconds. After many many mythical Gui rank game with Sun and tons of tests, just with 2-3 to three items, you can easily solo a lord 100-0 to zero in under 10 seconds. I gotta say though, Sun did not get the best revamp on his skins. Most animations and skins remain exactly the same. Nonetheless, this doesn't diminish the fact that Sun is so fun to play now, which somehow is giving this skins new meanings. Before the revamp, people played Sun so little that no one cared about the skins before. But now, it was so fun for me to rotate between skins and play games with Sun and explore different builds. I don't know, maybe my previous life was a monkey or something? I love Sun and Uncle Dave highly recommend all of you kids to try it if you have not. Anyways, since Sun went from bottom of the crop to now one of the most fun meta choices, he has instantly elevated himself to the best ramp in 2021 for Mobile Legends. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below and let me know. Anyways, that will be all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. I love you guys, and Assassin Dave signing off. See you guys next time. Bye now. Just for the thrill of it, nothing counterfeit with